Hey, what's up Hot Routers? Today we're going to be upgrading our steering by installing a Borgeson Universal Joint on our steering column. All right, so on our 74 Plymouth Duster, here is the original style rag joint. And we're going to be going to this new, uh, let me get in here, this new uh, Borgeson Universal style joint. All right, so there's two reasons um, that we're gonna do this. One is this is gonna tighten up the steering a little bit, so these, these older ones have a little bit more slop in them. And uh, let's just be honest, the new ones look pretty sweet. So that definitely biases some of my decisions. So the downside is, so these are specific by, by car. You gotta pick them by the spline and how you want to connect to the steering column and this one is a weld on so for this uh, Mopar the only one that is available in the spline is a weld on so if you need to take it off again it's gonna be pretty darn difficult so I'm pretty much chalking it up as this is going on once and if for some reason it does fail which I think the lifetime on these is supposed to be super long but if it does fail probably replace the column but that's all right with me now, I personally like that it's a weld on because it's going to be solid. You know, some people that may not be for you, but uh, depending on the car you're running, there may be other options available. So, let me talk through what we're going to do here. So, first off, I went ahead and I already tightened down our steering gear. So, this is for sure in the right spot. Next thing that I did was I found the center of travel here and the way that I'm doing that was I started with my little set screw in a vertical position and I am turning it over all the way to the right and looking at you know how many degrees of travel I have and I'm just eyeballing it and then I go back to my center and I turn all the way over the other direction and I'm sorry if I stand right above it you'll see that I'm getting about the same amount of the nut sticking out depending on either way that I go. So that tells me that this is the center of travel. So that's where, you know, since I'm welding my, my column on, I wanna make sure that my steering wheel is gonna be nice and straight. So what I did was I went ahead and just paint panned it there. That way, as I take this on and off, I can make sure that I get it back in the same spot. All right, so gears on, center of travel is determined, and you can see here this little groove, this set screw is sitting in this little groove. My paint kind of uh, dripped out all over the place, but I know that I need to line up my bolt with that paint pen stripe there, so I'm good to go. All right, so what I need to do now is I need to put my steering wheel, I need to put my steering wheel back in and basically set it up right here make sure that my steering wheel is perfectly straight and then we're going to tack it so i'm going to go ahead and set up the steering wheel and then we'll take a look all right she doesn't want to go super easy this is an old column and it's been you know dented up a little bit so we're just gonna we're just gonna give it a little bit of a surface treatment here and we should be good to go all right guys full transparency taking a little bit more cleanup than I planned, so we're gonna cheat a little bit. Got our coupling on, and uh, able to rotate it. Now we get into the next issue. So if you can see in here, the shaft is sticking on, sticking beyond past where it should be. The, uh, the drawing in the instructions is actually pretty helpful, so here it is. So coming in here, thankfully, I do have I do have a slot. So this bolt and one on the other side. So if I come in here and I loosen that up, pull my column out a little bit, and make sure that that's still gonna work for me, based on height, comfort, etc. And thankfully, that puts it back where we're in the safe zone. If it didn't, well, if that didn't, then no big deal. We just gotta cut the shaft a little bit. But uh, since I'm good with it, a little bit closer, we're fine and it saves a step. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna make sure that our steering wheel is perfectly up and down. And the way I'm gonna, the way I'm gonna do that 
is I'm gonna hang a little weight on it. All right, zip tie plus a wrench equals weight. All right, I like it. All right, we're set up here. I did want to say, now that we're set up, one last check, steering wheel is dead centered. Also tighten up that set screw because that's gonna affect the uh, position as it finds its way into that groove and making sure we're not extending beyond. I already checked it all, it's ready to go. And make sure that we are in the vertical position. So that set screw is pointed straight up. I know I'm in the center of travel on my gearbox. We can adjust a little bit for that with uh, some of the other components, but better to have it centered now. All right, here we go. All right. Oh, that was ugly. Did not get a good ground, so not have a good gap. Turn my wire speed down a little bit, and let's go again. Hmm, I didn't really like that either. Let's turn it down more. There we go. That's getting better. Ooh, the whole thing gets hot. Hot, 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 hot. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna pull it all back out just so I have a little bit more space and we'll finish welding it over on the table. All right, so welded it, cleaned up the welds. You know, I'm not gonna win any awards for my welding skill, but I think it looks pretty darn good. And I guarantee that puppy is not coming off. This is just uh, just bare steel, so we are gonna hit it with a little bit of uh, little bit of paint and then we're gonna go ahead and put it back in the car and I'll show you guys the final result all right we're all done so coming on in here got our coupling set screw I would probably lock tight this in although there's not a lot of risk of the uh, steering column coming out but I don't know you might lock tight it in but I'm gonna have to take this back out to get our headers and other stuff in here so but I think she looks pretty good and ooh, my kids are gonna have some fun with that so we're in pretty good shape one more thing off the list so today was day five of the 30 day push to get the duster on the road. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks. Take care. I'll drop you guys an update tomorrow.